Callie, I want to first off say that I love you and that you're the most like extraordinary person I know. When most brides on their wedding day would want to be pampered in the room or a spa, you wanted us to go hike a mountain and experience life. And this morning, when we did that, that only strengthened my love for you. You want to live life, and I'm so happy I met someone like you who just doesn't want to have an ordinary life. You want to live a spectacular life. And we, our first thing was that we went to a movie together. I just knew I met this really great guy who asked me to go to a Captain America movie. She's, uh, on, when we go on this date, she wanted to have a good conversation to get to know me. <laughs> I was here to watch a movie. I didn't even know anything about Captain America, but I said yes. And I sat there the entire movie, just so dumbfounded. <laughs> She luckily, after that, she still gave me a second date. He was just so supportive from the very start. I got out of a tumultuous relationship and Austin helped me find myself. Not only did I find who I really was and what I really wanted in life, but I found a partner that's going to be beside me every step of the way. A redhead, so she is a firecracker. She knows what she wants. She just loves so much and she cares about people so much. She wants other people to be happy. And that's just like the greatest thing. That is, um, I've never met someone like that. And all that passion in her is, I mean, it's like a fire. It's just, you can't help but get be around it and just feel warm and cozy around it. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I love you. Austin has never met a stranger, so if you haven't met him before, he's going to make you feel like your best friends by the end of your conversation. He has the gift of gab. He makes people feel comfortable. He's just a genuinely the nicest guy that you'll ever meet. He's very funny and comical. He's like a child, <laughs> but he makes everyone feel so special. Stars are tracing the sky like city windows. Callie, you're such an amazing person, and I'm so blessed that you chose me to be your husband. During this whole trip, I keep getting distracted from the views because I keep looking over at you. Remember that no matter what happens, I will be waiting at the end of the aisle to marry you. You are the love of my life, and today I get to marry my best friend. Today is the beginning of our next great adventure. I cannot wait for the rest of our lives. I love you, Austin. And I'm feeling like you are something I won't lose. Austin, you told me early in our relationship I'm going to marry you one day. It wasn't until much later that I would believe you. I was unconvinced that you the most genuine, humble, and passionate man I've ever met would be interested in me. Oh my God. Oh my God, you look amazing, baby. You look <laughs> We've had some pretty amazing adventures together. However, not one of those moments will ever compare to the way you make me feel every day. I love you forever and always. Cal, you're a pink one. I vow that when life gives us mountains to climb, I will be there by your side. Even when life is too hard and we can't keep going higher, I'll probably give you a piggyback ride <laughs> so that we'll make it to the top. And I promise that when life gives us rainstorms, I'll be there to weather it with you so that we can see the rainbow when it passes. I vow to be with you for better or for worse, richer or poorer, heaven and hell. I love you, and I'm so happy that you get to be my wife, and I get to be your husband. Austin, I tell you this every day. I love you. Today, I promise to stand by your side forever. 
and walk hand in hand through life. You're my past, my present, and my future. You're my albatross. <laughs> I vow to always support you, push you, challenge you. I promise that I will make our home a safe haven and a place filled with love and hopefully one day precious red-headed children. <laughs>